guys, Danny Johnson here, and today my friend's coming over. He's putting his Cobra up for sale, and it's a higher mileage Cobra. It has about 140,000 miles on it, and a lot of people are curious with that mileage how these cars do on compressions tests and how the engines are holding up, so I figured it'd make a good video. Uh, so we'll uh, run a compression test on it and show you the results, and also I'll put a link in the description on a full video on how to do a compression test. But uh, he's going to come over and we're going to give it a quick little test drive just to make sure that the car is running properly. Uh, you want to make sure before you start doing a compression test or anything like that, the car's not having any issues in the beginning. Because uh, uh, if you're, especially if you're going to look at a car and do a compression test on it, you want to drive it first so that uh, if something happened, uh, the owner can't, uh, won't blame you for it and say that you messed something up. So. Uh, we're going to take the car for a quick spin, then we're going to let it cool down because you do not want to pull plugs on a burning hot engine. So we're going to let it cool down, uh, then we'll just pull the plugs out, do the compression test, and uh, show you the results of uh, what the compression is like on a uh, 140,000 mile Cobra. Uh, typical range for these cars are somewhere in the 150 range, uh, just so you know. So uh, we'll get started. Okay, so we just went for a, a nice little test drive. Everything was looking real good. Transmission sounded good, shifted good. Um, so now what we've done, the car's still pretty warm. So we pulled the coil covers here. Cool. We pulled out the coil packs and uh, we're just letting it cool down still before we pull any of these plugs out because you never want to straight out yank plugs out of a hot engine. So this is going to help the plugs cool a little bit too, just being open and exposed like that. You did have to remove the uh, intake here to get that out of the way. But so now we're just letting it cool down and we have our compression tester kit. And I have a full video on doing a compression test if you want to see it, but uh, we'll just let it cool down and go from there. All right, so we just pulled our first plug, looks real good. And as you may know, the O3s here only had four threads on the spark plug, so you can see it only had uh, four threads really being used into the cylinder head. So now we're just going to put our new fit mint down in there with the uh, compression tester, put it in its place, and then crank the engine over. Okay, so we've pulled all the spark plugs. You can do these one at a time if you want. It's testing the individual cylinder, so not uh, that it really matters, but we pulled the rest of them. This will actually help the car crank a little easier too. So we've threaded in our first uh, end of here, and we're gonna go ahead and give it about five cranks. Okay, and also to note, we were holding the gas pedal down. That will cut the fuel so that you don't get any fuel into these uh, cylinders. Um, other than that, you can hit the inertia switch in the trunk, but you likely could still get some fuel in. So uh, that was a, a good run. We'll crank it a few more times here. Okay, so just shy of 150, which is uh, pretty normal for these Cobras. Okay, so when you're done with that cylinder, push this purge button.
tomorrow.